Subscribe to Andriski to save mankind from the madness. The requirements to perform good farming in Sirius. It's really important which unit you are facing. The best unit possible are the Mantis. After that, there's the Pirates, then the Imperials, and then the Metanoids. Your items should be at least around Kinita, but optimal would be, for example, the Strong Blaster, the Long Repair Droid, Long Afterburner. In general, all damage components should be strong, except the Attack Droid. This is should be the long one. The attack buff, there is like, it's based on your preference. It's not important which one you take, just choose the one you like the most. Then we have the aim computer, where it's also preference based. And the speed accurator, I only recommend normal and strong. And then there's the mine, where I say you should only use the long one, because it's stronger than the strong one. I know, sounds crazy. The idea behind grinding in 4th ring is, unlike harvesters, where you need AoE damage to clear the interceptors, what makes you dependent on AoE cooldowns and harvester respawn, the key is to deal constantly damage to single or crowded units, which drop a higher amount of Kryonite, and the higher the damage equals more Kryonite per time. The key of this 4th ring farming guide will be the efficiency and the knowledge of calculation. So I will go deeper into this in the following and if you just listen and try to use those tips you become a much better pilot and you will gain more Kryonite, I guarantee you. Know the power of your repair droid, know the damage of the enemies and if they are combined, know how fast you are able to kill units, mix the knowledge of those and master the never dying. If you can't get your next repair droid fast enough, start kiting. Clump up the mantis to a crowd and serve them some orbital strikes. The weak units, which are barbarians, eliminators and frenzoids, you can clump up 4 to 5 units. From the medium units, which are avengers and marauders, you can clump up 2 to 3 units. From the strong units, which are rocketeers and parasites, you can clump up up to 2 units. Control the mantis path for shorter routes to the next target and more orbital strike value. Especially strong units, if they are below 15 or 20% hit points, they will run away from you in opposite direction. Make sure they get stopped by a wall or run in your preferred direction without running out the zone. Avoid extreme overkills on units. It lowers your DPS. For example, your orbital strike deals 30% damage average on a Marauder and if a Marauder has now 10% HP left and you fire off your orbital strike, it's like not really worth. So you should keep your orbital strike for the next unit. Avoid bosses if they are too risky to kill. With global boosters such as firepower relay or damage deflector from 25 to 50 percent it is okay to give it a try. But generally they lower your average Kryonite per time because the effort if it doesn't drop is pretty high for nothing. Wasting active times after fight situations to collect items. As long as they are running make use of them. You have enough time to collect items afterwards. Ideally you can make a heap of the drops. By active times I mean the attack droid, attack buff, speed actuator, aim computer 
and perforator. As you may have noticed, I focused a little bit more on the sniper, because it is in my opinion the best 4th ring farmer. If you want to have more special farm guides about the relevant classes, let me know in the comments.